The sea was a vast, black canvas under the starlit sky, where every ripple seemed to whisper ancient secrets. It was here, in the uncharted depths, that an old legend spoke of a creature so monstrous it could swallow ships whole. A predator from a bygone era, the Megalodon, long thought extinct. But in the dark recesses of the ocean, the truth is rarely what it seems. Dr. Emily Carter had always been fascinated by the ocean's mysteries. As a marine biologist specializing in extinct species, she had spent years studying the Megalodon, the massive shark that had terrorized the seas millions of years ago. With new evidence suggesting the possibility of a surviving population in a remote trench, she and her team were on the brink of a groundbreaking discovery. The Endeavor, a state-of-the-art research submarine, descended slowly into the abyssal darkness of the Mariana Trench. Inside, Emily, her colleague Dr. Mark Harris, and a small crew prepared for what was to be a historic dive. Just remember, Emily said, her voice barely audible over the hum of the submersible's engines. This is uncharted territory. If we find what we think we might, it's going to change everything. Mark nodded, his face illuminated by the glow of the instruments. I know. I just hope we're prepared for whatever we might encounter. As the submersible plunged deeper, the sunlight disappeared, replaced by the cold, eerie blue of the deep ocean. Hours passed, and the crew remained focused on their instruments and monitors. They were reaching the edge of the known world, where light could no longer pierce the suffocating darkness. The trench was a forbidding place, its walls steep and jagged, a labyrinth of shadow and silence. The Endeavor's floodlights cast narrow beams into the void, revealing strange, bioluminescent creatures and eerie, distorted forms. Look at that, Mark said, pointing to a shadowy figure that darted away as they approached. Never seen anything like it. Emily peered at the monitor, her heart racing. The shape was fleeting, but it was unmistakably large. Could it be one of the legendary creatures? As the submersible drifted through the trench, the floodlights flickered. The crew exchanged uneasy glances, their earlier excitement now tinged with apprehension. A deep, rumbling sound echoed through the water, making the Endeavor shudder. Emily glanced at the sonar screen, where a massive, blip-like shape was approaching them. Her breath caught in her throat. Mark, are you seeing this? Mark's eyes widened as he scrutinized the readout. It's enormous. Whatever it is, it's getting closer. The rumbling intensified, and the lights dimmed, almost as if the very darkness of the trench was pressing in on them. Suddenly, the submersible was rocked by a tremendous impact. The lights went out, plunging them into an impenetrable blackness. The Endeavor's emergency lights flickered back on, revealing a fractured, cracked view of the trench walls. Panic set in as the crew scrambled to assess the damage. What was that? Emily shouted over the din. We're not sure, Mark replied, checking the instruments. But we're not alone down here. The sonar readout showed the massive shape still circling them, growing ever closer. The crew's attempts to regain control were futile. The submersible was immobilized, trapped in the trench's icy grip. As the hours dragged on, the crew's unease turned into terror. Strange noises echoed through the metal hull, a low, guttural growl that seemed to reverberate from all directions. The shadowy figure on the sonar was now a menacing presence, its size and power evident in every tremor. Emily's hands shook as she peered out of the observation window. The darkness outside seemed to writhe and twist, as if something colossal was moving just beyond their sight. Whatever it is, it's toying with us, Mark said, his voice tight with fear. We need to find a way out of here. The submersible's lights revealed a glimpse of the creature outside. A gargantuan, prehistoric shark, its scales glistening with an otherworldly sheen. The Megalodon had returned from the depths of time, a predator as ancient as the ocean itself. The Megalodon circled the endeavor with a predatory grace, its enormous jaws snapping with an echoing clang. The crew's fear mounted as they realized the full extent of their predicament. The creature's sheer size made escape seem impossible. There's no way we can outmaneuver it, Emily said, desperation creeping into her voice. We have to find a way to get back to the surface. 
Mark's fingers flew over the controls, trying to restart the engines, but the submersible remained dead in the water. The Megalodon seemed to sense their helplessness, its attacks growing more relentless. The submersible was rocked by another violent impact, sending a wave of panic through the crew. Water began to seep into the hull, and the lights flickered once more. As the Megalodon closed in for the kill, the crew's situation became increasingly dire. Emily and Mark worked frantically to repair the submersible, their efforts growing increasingly desperate as the creature's attacks grew more violent. Emily, we need to get out of here now, Mark shouted, his face pale with fear. Emily nodded, determination hardening in her eyes. We have to try. We can't let it end like this. With a final, desperate effort, Mark managed to restart the engines. The Endeavor lurched forward, its lights blazing into the darkness as they began their ascent. The Megalodon roared in frustration, its massive form slamming against the submersible one last time before it retreated into the shadows. The crew clung to their seats, their hearts pounding as the Endeavor raced toward the surface. The Endeavor broke through the surface, the crew gasping for breath as the sunlight bathed them in its warmth. They had survived the encounter with the Megalodon, but the experience had left them scarred. As they made their way back to shore, Emily looked back at the ocean, a mixture of awe and terror in her eyes. The Megalodon was still out there, lurking in the depths, a reminder of the ocean's untamed, ancient power. The sea was vast and full of secrets, and some mysteries were best left undisturbed. Back on land, the ordeal left Emily and her team physically and emotionally exhausted. The Endeavor was in disrepair, its once imposing exterior now scarred from the Megalodon. Relentless attacks, they were met with a mixture of disbelief and skepticism from the scientific community when they recounted their harrowing experience. In a debriefing with government officials and marine researchers, Emily and Mark struggled to convey the gravity of what they had witnessed. The evidence was compelling but still incomplete. The damaged submersible and the partial sonar data were all they had to substantiate their claims. We need more than just your word and a few fragmented images, Dr. Leonard Graves, a prominent marine biologist, said with a dismissive tone. The idea of a megalodon surviving in the modern ocean is far-fetched. Emily clenched her jaw, feeling a mix of frustration and determination. I understand your skepticism, but we were there. The creature is real. We saw it, and it nearly killed us. Graves raised an eyebrow. If it's real, why hasn't there been any other evidence? Mark interjected. We were in the trench for a reason. It's one of the least explored and most treacherous places on Earth. The Megalodon is adapting to its environment in ways we can barely comprehend. Despite the skepticism, the government agreed to provide funding for further exploration. Emily and her team were granted a small, renewed research grant, but they knew it was only a matter of time before someone else attempted to verify or debunk their findings. Several months passed and the psychological scars of the encounter lingered. Emily's nights were plagued by nightmares of the massive jaws closing in on them, while Mark struggled with flashbacks of the creature's growl reverberating through the submersible. Despite the trauma, Emily and Mark continued their research, focusing on gathering more evidence of the Megalodon existence. They planned another expedition, this time with better equipment and a larger team. Their goal was to venture deeper into the trench and capture more conclusive proof of the creature. The new mission was fraught with tension and excitement. As the team prepared to set sail, they were accompanied by a mix of seasoned researchers and eager young scientists. Among them was Dr. Sarah Lane, a marine ecologist with a reputation for her tenacity and innovation. Are you sure you want to do this again? Sarah asked Emily as they reviewed the plans for the new dive. After everything that happened, it sounds risky. Emily met her gaze steadily. We have to know the truth. If the Megalodon is out there, we need to understand it. And if we can bring back definitive evidence, it will change everything. As the expedition embarked on its journey, the crew was both excited and apprehensive. They were equipped with advanced technology, including a new submersible designed to withstand greater pressures and more sophisticated sonar systems to detect large, moving objects. 
the submersible dubbed Abyssal Explorer began its descent into the Mariana Trench. The team monitored their instruments closely, their eyes scanning for any sign of the Megalodon or other anomalies. The trench's darkness enveloped them once more, but this time, the crew was better prepared. They navigated through the chasms and crevices with greater confidence, their advanced sensors providing clearer readings. As they reached the depths where the previous encounter had occurred, a familiar unease settled over the team. The floodlights cut through the inky blackness, revealing strange, luminescent creatures and eerie formations. Then, just as they were beginning to think the Megalodon, might have moved on, the sonar detected a massive shape approaching. The crew held their breath, their earlier fears resurfacing with a vengeance. The Megalodon appeared on the monitor, its massive bulk even more intimidating than before. It circled the submersible with a predatory patience, its presence a dark omen of what was to come. The Abyssal Explorer was once again subjected to the relentless assaults of the Megalodon. The creature's strength and sheer size seemed to have grown even more formidable. The submersible's reinforced hull groaned under the pressure of the impacts. Hold on, Emily shouted as the submersible was rocked by another violent hit. The crew worked frantically to maintain control, their faces etched with fear. The Megalodon. Attacks were more calculated this time. It seemed to understand the submersible's weaknesses and exploited them with ruthless efficiency. The Abyssal Explorer's lights flickered, casting eerie shadows that danced across the trench walls. We need to get out of here, Mark yelled, but the submersible was already straining to move. The creature's massive jaws snapped close to the hull, its growls resonating through the vessel. The crew scrambled to repair damaged systems, their hands shaking as they worked. Emily knew they had to find a way to escape, but the Megalodon was relentless, its patience unnerving. As the situation grew increasingly desperate, Sarah suggested using a powerful underwater drone to distract the Megalodon and create a path for their escape. The drone was equipped with a high-intensity light and sound system designed to attract and confuse predators. With a final, daring plan in motion, the drone was released and moved toward the Megalodon. The creature, intrigued by the new stimulus, followed the drone, allowing the Abyssal Explorer to make a swift but precarious ascent. The Abyssal Explorer raced toward the surface, the crew's tension palpable as they navigated the treacherous ascent. The Megalodon, momentarily distracted by the drone, followed the lure but did not give up easily. Emily watched the depth gauge with bated breath as they climbed. Each second felt like an eternity. The lights of the submersible flickered intermittently, casting eerie shadows on the walls of the trench. Finally, as they neared the surface, the pressure began to ease, and the megalodon pursuit slowed. The creature roared in frustration but could not reach them through the expanding depths. With a final burst of speed, the Abyssal Explorer broke through the surface, the crew gasping in relief as they emerged into the warm embrace of the open sea. The drone, still functioning, was retrieved, and the Megalodon was nowhere in sight. Back on land, the team was hailed as heroes. Their evidence was irrefutable, and the discovery of the Megalodon, alive and thriving, sent shockwaves through the scientific community. The images and data collected during the dives offered new insights into the creature's behavior and adaptations. Yet, the experience had left its mark on Emily and her team. The ocean, once a place of wonder and discovery, had become a symbol of fear and the unknown. The Megalodon, a relic of the past was a reminder of the ocean's vast and mysterious depths where ancient predators still lurked in the shadows. Emily stood on the shore, gazing out at the expanse of water that stretched to the horizon. The sea was both beautiful and terrifying, its secrets still waiting to be uncovered. The Megalodon was a testament to the mysteries that lay hidden beneath the surface, a reminder that some parts of the world were meant to remain unexplored. As the sun set and the ocean darkened, Emily felt a mixture of awe and trepidation. The Megalodon was gone, but its presence had forever changed their understanding of the deep. The ocean was a place of immense power and ancient wonder, and its secrets were not easily forgotten. And somewhere in the cold, dark depths of the abyss, the Megalodon continued to roam, a primordial giant that would forever haunt the dreams of those who had ventured into its domain. Weeks after their harrowing escape, Emily and her team continued to analyze the data they had collected. 
The discovery of the Megalodon had become a global sensation, but it also stirred a mix of excitement and trepidation. The possibility that the creature could pose a threat to human activities deepened the urgency to address the situation. The government, recognizing the potential risks, decided to fund a final, decisive mission to eliminate the Megalodon and secure the trench. Emily was reluctantly chosen to lead this mission with the hope that her first-hand experience would guide their efforts. The new expedition was armed with advanced weaponry, including underwater explosives and a state-of-the-art submersible design specifically for combat scenarios. Emily, Mark, Sarah, and a highly trained crew prepared for what was to be the most dangerous mission of their lives. As they descended into the trench for the final time, the Abyssal Explorer was equipped with reinforced plating and enhanced propulsion systems. The crew was on high alert, aware that their objective was not just survival, but neutralizing a formidable predator. The descent was tense. The trench's darkness enveloped them as they navigated toward the depths where the Megalodon had last been sighted. Emily's heart pounded as they approached the area, the memory of their previous encounter fresh in her mind. Keep your eyes open, Emily instructed, her voice steady despite the fear she felt. We're going to have to be quick and precise. The sonar picked up the familiar massive shape and the crew's anxiety spiked. The megalodon was circling them, its presence unmistakable. Its growls echoed through the depths, a haunting reminder of the danger that awaited them. Sarah deployed a series of underwater drones equipped with high-intensity lights and sound systems to lure the megalodon into a controlled area. The drones created a cacophony of noise and flashing lights, drawing the creature's attention away from the submersible. Emily and Mark prepared the underwater explosives, carefully positioning them along the trench walls. The plan was to drive the megalodon into a confined space where they could use the explosives to deliver a decisive blow. With the drone successfully distracting the megalodon, the abyssal explorer maneuvered into position. The creature followed the drones into the trap, its massive body twisting and turning as it responded to the stimuli. Now, Emily shouted, signaling Mark to initiate the explosive deployment. The explosives were activated, and a series of controlled detonations rocked the trench. The underwater explosions created a shockwave, temporarily stunning the megalodon and forcing it into a corner. The trench walls reverberated with the force of the blasts, and the creature roared in fury. Despite the chaos, the megalodon remained resilient. It thrashed violently, its enormous jaws snapping through the water with deadly intent. The abyssal explorer was jolted by the impacts, but the reinforced hull held firm. Emily's team worked frantically to stabilize the submersible and prepare for the final assault. They had one last chance to end the threat. As the megalodon struggled within the confines of the trap, Emily and Mark prepared a final, more powerful explosive. This device was designed to deliver a concentrated blast aimed directly at the heart of the creature. Get ready, Emily said, her voice tense. We have to be precise. One wrong move and we could all be in danger. With a steady hand, Emily and Mark launched the final explosive into the heart of the trap. The device was equipped with a high-resolution targeting system that allowed them to lock in on the megalodon location. The explosive was detonated, sending a powerful shockwave through the trench. The megalodon let out a deafening roar as the explosion struck it directly. The force of the blast was immense, and the water around them was momentarily lit up by the explosion. The trench was filled with debris and sediment as the dust settled. Emily and her team carefully approached the area, their eyes scanning for any signs of the megalodon. The creature's massive form lay still amidst the wreckage, a testament to the power of their final assault. We did it, Mark said, his voice filled with a mix of relief and exhaustion. It's over. Emily nodded, her face a mask of grim satisfaction. We've neutralized the threat. The trench is safer now. As they made their way back to the surface, the crew felt a profound sense of accomplishment, but also a heavy burden. The Megalodon had been a relic of a bygone era, a reminder of the ocean's untamed power. The Abyssal Explorer broke through the surface, and the crew emerged into the light, greeted by the warmth of the sun. The sea, though still vast and mysterious, was no longer a harbor for the ancient predator. 
the successful mission was celebrated as a monumental achievement, but it also prompted a deeper reflection on humanity's relationship with the ocean. Emily and her team were hailed as heroes, but the experience left them with a heightened respect for the mysteries that lay beneath the waves. Emily stood on the shore once more, looking out at the sea. The battle with the Megalodon had changed her forever. The ocean was a place of immense beauty and danger, a realm where ancient creatures still lurked in the shadows. The Megalodon was gone, but its legacy remained, a reminder of the deep, primordial forces that shaped our world. The trench, now free of its monstrous inhabitant, would continue to be a place of wonder and discovery, but also a place where caution and respect were paramount. As Emily and her team returned to their lives, they carried with them the knowledge that the ocean's secrets were both a gift and a challenge. The Megalodon was no longer a threat, but its story would remain a part of their own. A tale of survival, bravery, and the unending quest to understand the depths of our planet's mysterious oceans.